It's been a cold, damp winter, but Britain's retail climate is showing signs of improving. New figures reveal the number of empty shops on the high street has fallen to its lowest level in four years. Matthew Hopkinson is from the local data company. The interesting thing is they're being reoccupied rather than being removed from the stock or to alternative uses. So there seems to be, dare I say, green shoots coming back to the high street, but it's not every high street, it's primarily in London and the south. This London suburb is one of the high streets that suffered its fair share of closures. Last year, Lawton had around 14 empty shops. That figure now stands at under 10. Becky Elliott owns Baba Boom, the town's baby and nursery retailer. You have that feeling in the pit of your stomach that if they've gone and they've been here for X amount of years, you know, how long is it going to be before we're going to face troubles? But, you know, luckily things have definitely improved. But analysts warn that Britain's economy is still fragile. The latest UK retail sales figures for January fell 1.5%, slightly more than expected. That followed December's figures, which had their strongest annual growth in almost three years. There's also been some improvement in other parts of Europe. French supermarket chain Carrefour has reported its first sales rise in Spain since the financial crisis of 2008. And UK electrical retailer Dixon's is showing a modest recovery of 3% in its Greek business. I think that France has a number of issues, as does Italy, and probably Germany is the next strongest to come back online, but they don't have such a strong online history as the UK does. Lawton had said goodbye to a number of chains over the years, but new ones are moving in. That's good news for this generation of shoppers, and the next.